Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Think! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase! <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix, your 24-7 emergency pest control solution. Huh? Uh, row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 row! What's got into you? That's enough, Washington. Row, 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 row! Whoa, 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 row, row, row! Honey, uh, whoa, can't you see row, he wants to whoa. play? All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, whoa, little whoa, whoa, whoa. doggy. So, go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the? What's got into you, Washington? The mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they could be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. 
Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I worked for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild anima fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How huh? about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Well, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. If you hadn't woken up the living stone... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you going to do that? I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's, it's, it's worse. A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species. It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor. It's disgusting. I've never smelled anything like it. Quick, we gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls, you really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it! It won't matter! There's no danger for you! You're just a standard issue pet cat! Standard issue, huh? I see. The answer is no. <sighs> I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face with <laughs> cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please have mercy, not the seven-year chabashu. <laughs> A new odor. What is it? It's, it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm a 
about to discover a species that doesn't even exist! That's enough! What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now everyone, head for shelter. Victory! I've got you now, you vile, unidentified creature with your putrid odor. Thanks to you, I'll be famous again. I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Hmm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long! <laughs> uh? mm. <gasps> Ew, lots of action. It's a sense. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring! What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. One who swallowed the ring! As I mentioned the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. Mm -hmm. The cake is ready! 
Magnificent. Right, we're gonna have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Uh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up! Faster! Up! Down! Up! Down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. So, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring? Did you? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Wait, did... expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. You got the ring. Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch myself now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners. Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? It's not gonna be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. Uh, you will what? Awesome. Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! We're here, Susie, quick, hurry up! Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh, you know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My precious uh, ring! Do you uh, understand? Uh, oh, uh, oh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing. It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before, and it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true, but you really do eat a lot. You're right, and it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah. Right, so uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. Ah, there you are, my 
little Susie. Perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Huh? You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So, oh. did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. Mm. Uh. Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We want to go! We want to go! We want to go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! Mm. Today! Uh? Uh, mm -mm. There. What's that? Hmm. Da! It's a bunny mobile! A self-driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! 
A state-of-the-art self-driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011 989 7253 in case of emergency. Destination, Bebop Bunny. Bush, stop the car! No! We're gonna get cut! Oh, come on, Sam! Don't worry! The windows are tinted, so there's no risk! Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree. You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Oh, Wash, this is too awesome! Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving! But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls. I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one, they won't last long. Oh no, my beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control, don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, uh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go! Forget the alligator! Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you! Ah! Uh, they're not following us anymore! Well, of course not! They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> found! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic oh remote control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> The Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened! Come and get your fill of bunny thrills! Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I 
Betty's in seventh heaven. Oh, watch! Speed up! They're right behind us! Phew! They're gone! We're safe! You can slow down. They're gone. I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator is like uh, stuck. <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. <laughs> Up Eugenie and Susie without getting caught. Call the emergency number. I think now's the time. Oh yeah, good idea. But um, uh, what was the number again? Yeah, you have to nine 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 eight eight one nine nine nine. Is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? But the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh! fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool, I ditched them. Oh. Oh no, I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, mm -hmm. please re Did you just touch something? Charge. Mm -hmm. Battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. Here's a genie. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Livingstones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey, how did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out. Bebop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner. <laughs> wow, that works. Awesome. Thank you, girls. <laughs> you see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Oh, 
Monica. I have a confession to make. I love you. Jesus served. <laughs> get it, Sam, get it! that mouse. Do you think he's sick? Oh. It'll be fine, darling. Everything's okay. Breathe deep. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Sam, what was that about? You're supposed to be a cat, and cats are supposed to chase mice. They love doing that. Chase mice? Are you crazy? They run way too fast. All cats chase mice, I'm telling you! If you don't, the Living Stones might start wondering about that and realize that you're not a real cat! Are you sure? Yes, and if they found that out, you know what would happen. We'd be forced to return to the forest, condemned to endless wandering in cold and darkness. <sighs> As for acting like a cat, Sam's far from winning the Academy Award. But for the worst melodramatic lead, you've got a good chance, Washington. Cool it, Vic. You couldn't understand. Nothing to panic about. I just have to revise our cohabitation contract with Biscuit. Biscuit? Biscuit, the mouse. He leaves the Living Stones alone, and in exchange, I give him a hefty piece of cheese every year, according to delivery. You do? Why don't you just pounce on him and chase him off and all that? Why should I? The Living Stones provide us with delicious kibble three times a day. Okay, should we do the usual? This year, Swiss cheese or Parmesan? Both. Both? Are you kidding? It's complicated enough finding one single piece of quality cheese. You want two? Hmm, I think you have a big problem on your paws in any case. What do you mean, big? A cat who prefers cheese to mice? Bizarre, no? Mm, not in the least. I myself am tempted at times by a bit of blue cheese or cheddar. That's right. At times. The only explanation I can come up with is that creature is not a real cat. <laughs> this guy here, not a cat? Ridiculous. Sam is definitely a cat. Oh, and quite some cat, too. Right, Sam? You're a cat, aren't you? Meow. Meow right now. <laughs> Meow? <laughs> like I said, perhaps someone ought to open the Living Stone's eyes to this problem. <laughs> What's that? Let's just say if I happen to be in the right place at the right time, I could show them that their darling little cat doesn't behave like a real cat at all. They might end up understanding. You wouldn't dare. I've already disposed of bigger dudes than this. How do you mean big? Let's not get all worked up about this. Surely we can find some common ground on the subject. Anyway, one piece of cheese, two pieces of cheese. <laughs> what difference does it make? Cats do not make deals with mice. The matter is closed. If you want me, you won't find me. We can't just wait around and do nothing. Biscuit has threatened to reveal our secret without warning. We have no choice. We must teach Sam to chase mice. Yay, why me? Because you're the cat! And we'll have the same problem every time a mouse sneaks into this house. <laughs> Susie, you be the mouse. Run and don't stop until Sam catches you. Here we go! <laughs> what are you doing? Since we're about to be evicted, I'm taking advantage of the TV one last time. A hunter among hunters. The leopard can remain hidden for a very long time. A very, very long time. Sam, you are a genius! Okay, running isn't your strength, but waiting around without doing anything at all, that is your specialty. And? And so we just have to use the leopard method. Wait in ambush for Biscuit. Maybe we should just give Biscuit what he wants. 
Like cheese? Exactly. And where do we find loads of cheese? Don't know. In the garbage. Listen carefully, Sam. There are three rules. Reactivity, reactivity, and most of all, whatever happens, reactivity. Can you repeat the second one? <laughs> as soon as Biscuit appears, you grab him and toss him in the bag. Simplicity, efficiency, reactivity. I get it. Things are going to reactivity. Yeah. Grab Biscuit, put him in your bag. Reactivity. Grab Biscuit, reactivity. Hi, dude. How are things? <laughs> Not bad, thanks. Just kind of hungry. Otherwise, great. Hey, I was just about to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Want me to bring you one? That is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> gotcha. I had my doubts, but this is so obvious. You are not a cat. Yay! Yay! Not so fast, rat face. <laughs> Hurry, Sam. You got to catch him. <laughs> Reactivity! What was the third thing already? Reactivity! Flash! He's on the sofa! with stale Swiss cheese for the rest of my years. They don't know who they're up against. Better now? Do you feel calmer? No, I do not. I will when those two so-called cats get rid of that disgusting rodent. <laughs> yeah. oh, no! Hurry, Sam! Now's the time to be more cat-like than all the cats in the world put together. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be happening. Yeah? What is wrong with this cat? Can't even catch a mouse? Where's Victoria? Hey, it's just a matter of time before the Living Stones realize that you're not a real cat. Fancy a piece of cheese? <laughs> I'm begging you, Vic. Help us. Cats do not make deals with mice. If you don't help us, we're done for. You've got to teach Sam how to chase mice. Sam is at a breaking point, Vic. That mouse threatens to reveal his true identity at any moment. That guy can't sleep. Just look at him. He's a zombie. Well, the zombie sure has an appetite. <laughs> what Sam needs to catch Biscuit, I mean, apart from endurance, style, and technique, is a motive. What do you mean? What motive? If you can come up with a very good reason for him to go after that stupid mouse, he will. <laughs> a motive. Motivation. Get it? Aha! <laughs> I'm not so sure this is a good idea, darling. Well, I'm not gonna sit around and do nothing until our cats decide to take action. Look what I found, Sam! Your favorite cookies! Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna give you one. I wonder if you really, really want one. <laughs> well, in that case, I could give you the whole packet. Oh, yes, oh, yes! But only if you manage to catch Biscuit. Then you can eat all of these cookies. <laughs> Boy, Sam! Cat. 
I think I'm gonna leave you guys. See you later. What did she just say? Did you just call me Mr. Cat? Oh, yes, 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 yes. You are 200% cat, a formidable mouse hunter. And believe me, I've seen loads, loads. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cat. I promise I'll never bother the living stones again. Yeah! The, the mouse, so that's it? Is it really gone for good? Nice work, Mr. Cat. We did it! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Okay, kitty kibble, pillow, fave toy, we're we rocking. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to our new edition of Kibble Run! Open to all the animals in disguise on the block! The first one will win the Kibble Cup! Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win! Okay, guys, ready, set, go! <laughs> Wow, good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in disguise. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! Catnip! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. <laughs> Give me that right now, you fucking warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he is. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look. You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How can I possibly resist? Come here, you. Hmm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right. So enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam. Uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat, that, in that. That's not cat, in that. Meow! That's not cat, I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a... Oh, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boy. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. Hmm. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. Kitty kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! Wow! 
What kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, take them for yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. No. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. <laughs> hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? <laughs> Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First, it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? Unless... Hey, Sam, check it out. Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously? Cool! Thanks, Victoria! Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move, I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become inseparable. <gasps> of course! That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Mm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy? Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside. Take your time. <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar. Sam, <laughs> mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that. That's me you right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. Then we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From yeah. where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! forest. <sighs> All right, I'll help you. Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick for the sewer dive. Is this a joke the or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. <laughs> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you?
world are you doing? <laughs> what is this thing? That, Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah? Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I'm gonna go tell the girls right now! Oh no, my costume! We've gotta stop him! And we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. Yeah. Wash is back. Okay. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. Here I am, girls. Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah. boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. <laughs> Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you. Thing. No idea. But it sure is ugly. You are a rabbit. It's mine. No, it's mine. Let go, you big bone cat. No, 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 no. Yeah. You, you Looks like they love it. Go. Enjoy, my little kitty cats. Get that back immediately, you white hot you. You. Go on, Sam. You're gonna get it. Keep it up, man. I'm betting ten kibbles on Sam. <laughs> Pretending, Sam, it's a toy for cats, not a toy for wild boars! Hey, I'm serious. I really do love this toy. Nonsense. It's a toy made especially for cats, and only cats. That is such a lie. Wild boars love acorns, and I'm a wild boar and a cat. I'm a boy cat, and that means I love it twice as much as you. I even had one in the forest. Thanks, sweetie. No, Mom, no! Oh. Hey, you gonna be okay, bro? Are you sad? It's gonna 
gonna be okay, sis. I've been through worse. I can handle it. Oh, look! Flying kibble! Oh. There! There, there! <laughs> Come on, Sam, forget it. It's nothing but a stupid toy for cats. Cats and four cats? Oh, you're so soft. <gasps> and you're mine. Oh, mine. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Hey! <laughs> hey, Nick, you know your favorite show is on TV. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Wash. I'll watch it when I get my toy back. Yeah. this morning. Good thing everybody is all snug and warm inside. back in for a snack. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sam, what are you doing there? I'm hiding. I can't leave the room. Hiding? But hiding from what? Where's your disguise? It disappeared. Help. 
Hmm. But we can still see her behind. <laughs> That's what happens when you cross me. I'll give Sam back his costume, but under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn forever. Whatever you want, Vic, but hurry up! Follow me. <laughs> the costume is under there. <laughs> no, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the teeth. We've turned the whole house upside down and still no costume. All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Do you mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, whatever you do, stay here. It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the <gasps> line. Please, take care of Eugenie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. Stop! I'm the guilty one. I saw Vic hide his costume under the sofa and I took it. Because all Sam could think of was his acorn and he no longer wanted to play with us. I really messed up. What? What did you do? It's all my fault. I should have never played so much with that stupid acorn! <laughs> Sam, we've come to save you! Oh no, the living stones! There's no choice, I have to unzip! There's a box in the house! dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. It's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. 
the brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need. With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes. <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Silly! What do we do with their old costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cuz the future is now! <laughs> Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? Mm -hmm. I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> The magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful. Uh -oh. Quick, everyone outside! Ah! Whew, just in time. Continues, the neighbors are gonna get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. <laughs> Uh-oh. Costumes. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second. Mr. Bad is not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the? That's us. <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried. Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me? Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Easy! <laughs> 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 not a dodo bird. Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! Give me that! There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on! Makes you look fat! Go on, get lost! Go back to your forest, you losers! These are our costumes now, and that is our life! Disasters. And our reputation is shot! All that work we 
put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke. This time we're gunners. It's back to the forest. <laughs> no. No way are we going to let them take over our lives. Yeah? They're going to find out what we're really made of. Yeah! We're going to show them I'm not a dodo bird. This time you've gone too far, raccoon. Hey, guys! I think these bozos didn't quite catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets, they're being attacked by wild animals. Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Guys, I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Do you seriously think we're gonna let you choose channels? <sighs> in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. <laughs> What's more, the living stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the bath robot enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? My heart is wavering. Oh, yeah. oh come on. 
only 137 more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. Duh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? Mrs. Livingstone, thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! Oh! A cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah! 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 Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah! <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, oh, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah. Precisely. And He's that's why Donald isn't sneezing. <laughs> and why His Highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddle! <laughs> 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 Operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. No! Sam! Sam! Hey, 
Ash, everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Yeah, why not? I like that groove. Because he's going to figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're going to have rain every day. <laughs> Let them play together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog! <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go! <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? is enough. Come on, let's go play doctor. <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy. You're going to ruin my kid again. <laughs> Washington, stop oh, it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're going to give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. <laughs> the answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Way 
leaner than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to get you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, hey, thing. your paw! Hurry up! Uh. Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! <laughs> What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> Oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So? I can hear her scratching her litter box. Vic will be out in a second. And Sam? Still nothing. Hmm. Whoa! One minute, 13 seconds. Vic did all her business in one minute, 13 seconds. You are awesome. And I can do even better than that. One time, I stayed in there less than a minute. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Three hours, 45 minutes. He's never stayed so long in his litter box. I can't believe it. Do girls realize that Sam is going to beat his own world record? So? Oh, three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds. You just beat your record. Way to go, amigo. Yeah. Back in the forest, I won the contest to see which wild boar could do the biggest. Hey, darling, it's me. And who's the big package for? It's for Sam. Ta-da! Your potty is ready, Sam. With this, you'll be able to use the toilet like a human being. Mm. And it will save us from having to empty your litter box several times a day. It will certainly be useful, but do you think Sam will manage? <laughs> of course he will, honey. Sam is very smart. <laughs> Amazing! The Las Vegas Electronics Show. Now this is a program for me. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? You have to go to the bathroom! Uh, again? Sam, you just spent exactly 3 hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds in the toilet! It's because of Mr. Livingstone's pet potty! Just thinking about it stresses me out, and when I'm stressed out, I have to go to the bathroom! Come on, Sam, I'm sure it'll work just fine! It's pretty obvious it's not you who has to use the pet potty! It's super complicated! There's a sort of pan where you put your paws just above a hole with water, and I don't understand a thing! Listen, Sam, if it's that bad, go in your old litter box! Then you can just flush the toilet to make the living stones think that you were on the pet body like a good cat and you're home free. Thanks, Wash. You're the best. No, no, no. No more litter box. Now you're going to go to the potty like a big cat. How does this thing work? <laughs> there, you can do your business now, Sam. New technology serving human needs. 
What if just for once they thought of animal needs? <laughs> what? You missed the hole? Way, way worse. I didn't do anything at all. The living stones watch me to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But to do that, I had to unzip the back of my costume. And if the living stones see that, they'll discover that I'm not a real cat. Don't worry, Sam. We're going to help you. But do you mind waiting until my show's over? If they're rolling the end credits, okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be too risky. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to play ball there, Washington? Honey, I'm going outside to play ball with Washington. Wait. What are you doing here, you little rascals? <laughs> oh. Good dog. That's the alarm I installed for Sam. Quick! What? Why did he stop playing? Do you think he did his business? Mm -mm. Don't worry, honey. It's his first time. It's normal. It may take a while. Ah. Sam's not moving. His costume must be open in the rear. I've got an idea. Get yourselves ready to go button up Sam's costume. <coughs> what happened? Are you all right, honey? <gasps> Sam doesn't seem to be getting used to it. I really feel like that pet body is a failure. Perhaps he simply has a shy bladder. Maybe he freezes up when he knows people are watching him go to the bathroom? With this little camera, Sam won't know he's being watched and will be able to verify that he's learning to use the pet potty. I could never forgive myself if it's too hard for him. Why, Mr. Livingstone, you think of everything. Yeah. Can you lend me your litter box, please? I already had to stop a fake dog from doing number one in it. There's certainly no way a fake cat is going to do a number two. Don't worry, Sam. Don't listen. We don't need her. Just do it discreetly in the yard like dogs do. But Wash, I'm a cat. What about feline honor and all? Sam, must I remind you that you are first and foremost a wild boar? And that is exactly what the Living Stones are going to find out if you don't wake up! It's true. I suppose the yard isn't that bad after all. Thanks, Wash! It works! Voila! Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. <laughs> At least no one will see me up there. Hey, what's he doing? <laughs> Man, are you nuts or what? You disgusting pig! You know what this reminds me of? That sublime French film from the 60s. Oh, come on, honey. You know that film where you broke your nodding off record by falling asleep after only five minutes? Uh, two years ago at Barry and Matt's? Exactly. Except that here, when Sam finally shows up, the film is going to become exciting. Joe, I'm a goner. It's impossible for me to find a quiet place. The yard is even worse than the forest on the first day of the hunting season. There are crowds everywhere. Wait a bit, Sam. When the sun goes down, everyone will leave to I go. I can't hold it in. I'm going to use the pet body and tough luck if the living stones catch me and I have to go back and live in the forest as the wild boar that I really am. Farewell, dogs, cats, canaries, and beloved TV. We can't leave him like this. Wash, you've got to do something. Of course. Listen, we're going to dig a secret bathroom under the sofa for Sam and build a sewage system that will connect to the elves' bathroom. Then we'll activate the toilet flush by tinkering around with the remote control Wouldn't after it having... Wouldn't be a whole lot easier to just turn off the camera in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. So 
sorry, Nick. I've got no choice. Box is the only place I can do my business without the camera seeing me. If you agree, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll offer you my treasure chest of chestnuts. That's sweet of you, Sam. But it's a no. Hmm. Nick, wait a minute. I got something for you. No means no! What in the world is he doing? How about we go watch TV instead? Besides, we'll get a warning when Sam climbs onto the pet potty. You left the alarm on, didn't you? Absolutely! But, but where's Sam? If he's not here, that means he didn't climb onto the pet potty. So we still have a chance to save him by turning off the camera before he comes back. Uh, how do you turn this thing off? No idea. Hold on, I'm coming. What if I let you choose the TV programs for a week? Nope. You meant? Uh, no. What about forever? Um... Okay, it's a deal. You can use my litter box, but just this once. What in the world are you doing? Stop that right now, it's dangerous. You've got it all wrong, Vic. What's dangerous for Sam is that camera pointed at the pet potty. Contrary to popular belief, new technology is not only here to serve humans, but also animals. And to prove it, here is a self-cleaning litter oh. box, which not only allows happy cat owners everywhere to stop cleaning out litter boxes, but it can also be delivered in one minute flat anywhere in the world. Wow, exactly what we need for Sam. But why? Sam is going to master the pet potty, honey. I'm 100% sure of it. Why, it's just a question of minutes. Right, honey. A self-cleaning litter box delivered in a minute sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> Come on, honey. Let's give Sam some privacy this time. <laughs> With all the excitement around here, the Livingstones didn't even think to fix my broken litter box. I'm the one who should have gotten the self-cleaning box. Why don't you ask Sam? I'm sure he'll let you use it. So I can die asphyxiated? No, thank you very much. Anybody knew how to get out of this thing? Oh, rats! Sam is stuck! How do we open this thing? Let the pro handle this. High tech is my middle name. Oops. Maybe that wasn't the right button. <gasps> ah! Whoa! This is the best invention of all time! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble. <laughs> hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble! It's all stuck inside! Right. Let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think they'll come out? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like
like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. What? Five hours and 54 minutes? Oh, no. We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner. Uh, we'll never get it open. We're goners. Any silly costumes which are too tight. Well, since we got no food, With Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. Two each. <laughs> your order has been confirmed. Flying Pizza at your... <laughs> service? <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> Uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Coast is clear. Whoa! Hang on! What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push one to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in nine, eight, seven. No, oh, no, six, they're on their way. Five, We're four, three, two. Phew! Congratulations. You have been given a new delivery. It awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push one to confirm. <laughs> Your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Bingo! Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead! Ah! Ah! Right! So anyways, there! You turn right! Uh, no, left! Oh, sorry! Uh, I was holding it upside down! <laughs> ah! What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? You're not very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. Capiche? Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. <laughs> well. This job sure isn't easy. Yum! Pizza toppings! Right! I take your silence as a yes! Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella! Anchovies! Capers! Mushrooms! Olives! Sam, watch! Quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mutt, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam! No! <laughs> Sam, what? Quick! We're running super late! We've got eight minutes to deliver the pizza! Otherwise, we're going to wind up as toppings! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make 
get over this bridge. Come on, let's go. We're gonna make it. Oh no, the bridge is rising. We gotta make it across, otherwise we'll never make it in time. I can't watch. That's great. So we deliver the pizza, and that's that. Right on time. What is that? It looks like the house of the... Veterinarian! What in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in. Me neither. Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! We gotta deliver the pizza! We can't let him make that call! to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. <laughs> I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, uh, thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? But how? It's far. Oh, I don't know. Try walking. It's incredible! Crazy! You all look like you're in tip-top shape! <laughs> It even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
What's the surprise? You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute. I've nearly finished. Here we go. System activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. What's a smart home whiz head? No idea. But I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System. Your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served. No! Wow! wow. And you haven't seen nothing yet. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible! <laughs> yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch. Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go. Nature sound activated. See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <laughs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature escape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? <laughs> ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? <laughs> Uh, sorry. Yeah! I'm not sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. No need. I got it covered. It's okay! I found it! Tropical scape activated! Wow! Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit! I'll sort this out in no time! How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. I think my costume is melting, Wash. <laughs> Alert, toxic matter detected. <laughs> Quarantine commencing. Disinfection of premises. Five. Four, three, quarantine complete. Uh oh, quick, hide! Oh, what was that alarm? We never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Uh oh, come here, you sleepyhead. Uh-oh, I think we got a tiny problem. You know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh, no! No costumes, no kibble! My turn! Oh. Why didn't we press the big green button again? <coughs> Stop! You'll wake up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> but what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply. Everything is gonna be fine. And let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage, I'm Washington. 
Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. But you gonna open up? You disconnected, I'm gonna jump! Is this some kind of joke? It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. Oh, 
Wow, that was a close call. It's up, baby cake. Is everything... Uh -huh. What has happened here? Looks like the program went crazy. Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified. For sure. I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week. Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that uh, then? Um... <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing in the Shower! The show that gets your morning rocking! And with no further ado, let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom! Wouldn't drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? First of all, we know how to sing! That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good job. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is called. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic 
meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners. Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it. And don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. When I was little, everyone made fun of me! <laughs> you see? For me, this contest is my opportunity for revenge. I want to prove that I can sing as well as a canary. That way, nobody will ever make fun of me again. <laughs> Susie, you can count on me. In fact, I'm going to be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? <laughs> no! That's a lion! Mm -hmm. I can't believe it, Wash! Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play! Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that! And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in! Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon! Oh, hey, no problem! All we have to do is put the canary video back on! <laughs> oh, no! I don't believe it! Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, <laughs> where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on! A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke! That song was pre-recorded! Incredible! 
Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. So cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary. But what in the world is this bizarre specimen? Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey, why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey. Do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Uh, uh, are you sure? It's our only chance. Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Ah! Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin. Can you believe that? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, um, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is it acorns mm -hmm. that grow into acorn trees? Yeah, oh yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah, a tooth tree! <laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense. Yeah. I lost a tooth two months ago, and Biscuit never came with the slightest gift. Ah, could be your tooth was too boring for him. 
Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Wow! Make a way better tooth fairy. Here, sis. <laughs> Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. Ew. And one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. Twenty kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, ten kilos and no muscle. Fifteen. Twelve kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be okay. Wow. Twelve kilos of cheese and half a muscle. Eugenie got totally ripped off, and we've got the proof now. I'm gonna make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> Well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that it's going right on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. And half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. Mm. <laughs> What's all that racket? I believe you have something that belongs to us. <laughs> like a tooth. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. It's for your own good, you know. You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings. Uh, listen, honey. The easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. They'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? <laughs> uh, 
Well, given the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> if the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's gonna tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's gonna be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Mmm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, hmm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie, you could get it by flying through the window. So I could get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I do know how you can get in, Wash. I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Susie, get in position. Sir, yes, sir. Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Whoop. Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero. Ah. Whoop. Zero. Zero. I said a bit harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I need to stop helping. Washington? What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, yeah, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse. Uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuit sent me. Huh? A dog fairy mouse? Y yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? Your present? Oh, yeah, uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Whoa! How'd you do it? They seem so angry. Oh, you know, the usual. Art of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Everybody's home. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Livingstones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that, as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy-bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. Uh, in exchange for the tooth, I'll give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. Huh? You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think Wash will be back soon? I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey! It's better than a clothespin, no? <laughs> you can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? Uh-oh! I think another tooth is loose! Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mm -hmm. And there are loads out there on every street. 
to shatter your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. Oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! Mr. Livingstone? Hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat. Not a twin, that's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him. Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all. How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If I let take Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus Sam for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen them or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and all of stock! Yeah. Yeah. Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! Oh, oh boy, oh boy! I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's OK, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always manage to hide food on yourself. And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys near the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa, but this is incredible. Who are you? You could be my twin brother. Look, we've got the same paws. <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home. Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, Come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. The 
that resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that our lead was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief. Let's celebrate. Here's a treat for all of you. Not you, Tom. You could choke or have an allergic reaction. Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> this won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations, your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom, time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. Oh, mine. <laughs> oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. Hey, Sam! Come and join us! It's so comfy! <laughs> no deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? It's me. Right, I'm Sam. Look at my droopy Sam walk. Oh, I know. You cut your whiskers. <laughs> Phew. Come on, you've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. Oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop that! <sighs> Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar! If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat! Oh no! Tom took Sam's place! Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did that! We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him... Yes! We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Yeah! Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah, d -d 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 don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... I want to know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? Yeah, I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. Here, I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good hearted. <laughs> you found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move! I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. <laughs> ah, a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Where? Help! Yeah. Help! Leave my master alone! <laughs> 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 You saved me from that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you, when in fact you are the one who protects me. 
Dancing about. They're together all the time. Tom, Tom. Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. He's so cute. You know, sometimes I wish I could grab onto a kite and go floating in the sky. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You heard it all? No, I'm all right. You're all fried, more like. Never fear, little sis. Sam the firefighter is here. <laughs> Was that lightning? That didn't come from the sky. That was Eugenie. You sure? Yeah. Eugenie still has all that electricity from the cloud inside her. She'll get over it. What a shame. I always dreamed of having superpowers. Uh, say, guys, I think it's time to get inside. <laughs> Eugenie, whatever happened to you, I don't want to know. All I want right now is for you to steer clear away from me, okay? Whoa. What a killjoy. A ball blows for no reason? Our hair stands on end? The TV goes haywire? We must have a polterbeast! A polterbeast? You mean poltergeist? A spooky ghost thing? That's right. Lock all the doors. Turn off the lights. Call the science police. I want every test possible. Honey, look. The TV is working again. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's weird. It's like it's coming from you, GD. Time for a visit to the vet, maybe, don't you think? When their program ends and they see Eugenie is still electric, the Living Stones are bound to take Eugenie to the vets. We have to find some way of de-electrifying her. I got an idea. Seeing as you're the smartest guy here, maybe you could find a solution, yeah? <laughs> Guess what, Sam? The solution's already in the bag. What is it? This is gonna be fun. The electricity in Eugenie's body comes from the sky. On that, we agree. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it arrived in her body via the kite line. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, if we want to cure Eugenie, the electricity has to go back the way it came. So, how are we gonna do that? Kite again so that the electricity zaps straight back up the line and into the sky. Well done, Susie. Wash, you're a genius. Oh, come on. Not only will that plan never work, but what's more, it's plain dangerous. Eugenie is more likely to get zapped by lightning like she did last time. Why? Well, you know, nature? You know nothing, Victoria. Don't listen to her, girls. Ms. Know-It-All here was just trying to show off. <laughs> yeah, if you believe Ms. Know-It-All, the girls aren't even allowed to fly kites because kite flying is too dangerous. <laughs> I cannot advise you strongly enough not to listen to that silly fox and your knucklehead brother, Eugenie. But Vic, do you have a better solution? Uh... No. 
<laughs> Hi, are you, Genie? It has to hit a cloud. That way, the electricity can. We can't say the same about you. What? That I'm a lightning bug? No, glowing and bright. No need to panic. It's just a side effect. It was all part of the plan. You'll soon switch off, Eugenie. However, we do have to make sure that the living stones don't see you like that. This time, it's an emergency. Pulling out, let's go. <laughs> was the visit to the vet part of your plan too, Wash? Zeus, go look in the window. See if my strategy's going as planned. As planned? And what exactly did you plan? Well, I was hoping that everything would turn out fine. What is that glowing object doing in my clinic? Think I'm some kind of electrician or what? It's a rabbit, Vladimir. A rabbit who was afflicted with a rare disease. If you manage to cure it, expect glory and the Nobel Prize, no doubt. Uh -huh. A very interesting case of acute rabbit lapis radiatus. Is it serious, Doc? How should I know? I've never heard of the disease until I saw this rabbit. But do you think you can do something? If it was a living room lamp, I could unplug it or remove the batteries. But here, what we have before us is a rabbit, do we not? Leave this with me. I shall keep her under observation overnight. I will see what I can do. Your plan is not working out as you expected, Wash. He's going to keep her overnight. But that's perfect. That means we'll be able to operate by night without anybody seeing us. By daylight, the mission would be way too risky. But with Eugenie beaming like a lighthouse, we're sure to be spotted. No! At night, everybody's in bed asleep. Come on! There's no switch, no battery compartment. This is beyond my abilities. Use this do-it-yourself electricity manual. You have the night to read it. Remember, the Nobel Prize, Vladimir! <laughs> it was much more fun being a rabbit than a bedside lamp. She's not there! Oh, no! He must have already discovered she's a wild animal. He sent her back to the forest. Stop! Stop! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Besides, lambs do not run off in the middle of the night. Isn't that right? At least we know where she is now. Alarm activated. That'll stop you from running away for sure. <laughs> What's got to done that? Huh. Uh, I should have listened to Miss Know-It-All. Huh? Fick! Okay, I admit the alarm was not part of the strategy, but I do have a plan B. We dig a tunnel right inside the bedroom. Forget it. You only had to take the right ventilation duct. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I've never seen a street lamp with rabbit ears before. My lamp! My Nobel Prize! <laughs> that way, it's a shortcut that leads straight back to the Livingstone's house! Okay, okay. Anyone can make a mistake. Some more than others. Oh, look! There's a light in the street! Oh, no! I'm sick of being a bedside lamp! We have to conceal Eugenie so the vet doesn't see her! But, Wash, if we touch Eugenie, we'll all frazzle! It's the only way, Sam! <laughs> you stopped glowing! You're right! You think I'm cured? Yippee! 
<laughs> What's happening to us, Wash? When we touched Eugenie, we must have picked up the charge. In the name of the law, I arrest you. Where is my lamp? I'm sure I saw it here. No sweat. Cut them off. Wash, do you have some kind of plan to get us out of here? Maybe a better plan than last time? On the count of three, we go in for the hug. One, two, three. What are you gonna say to Wash the Genius? I confess, it was a pretty bright idea. Huh? Hey, you're not asleep? So tell me, if Eugenie zapped her electricity to us and we zapped it to the vet, who's he going to zap it to? Sam, the main thing is that we're all here together. All four of us, nice and warm on the Livingstone sofa. Let's get some shed eye, okay? Look, honey! Eugenie's back and she's been cured! The vet must have brought her back and was kind enough not to wake us! He really is quite something. If you want my opinion, he should be awarded the Nobel Prize. Bad news, Mr. Livingstone! Your rabbit escaped! Escaped? Not at all! She's here, and she's doing great. Do congratulate Mr. Vladimir. He truly is a dazzling man. Dazzling is the right word. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ah, what a beautiful day for a picnic. See you this evening! Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving! You! Stop! Mm -hmm. We're sharing the meatball! Yeah, we share it! Share it! Share it! Share it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! Sam! Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat affair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!
you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. No sounds. sounds! I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room! Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready! Quick Wash, they're here! Be extra careful, Wash! Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. Mm. We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. <laughs> Must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's our lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> get him, Alvy! We're going to get him, Alvy! Go on faster! <laughs> This has gone totally mad! I've got to get home at once! Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am! came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! 
I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. Bah! My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red Quick, I the gold again. We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him. That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey. That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. So how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter, I am so proud of you. Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hunter Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap, wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> Got it, got it, got it! Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. My inner voice. Oh, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. I <laughs> say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. We're living the good life. We're living the good life. 
So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? Our little sweeties are. Our little keys. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor little guy. He looks abandoned. Um. <laughs> Aww. Hey, look at the Did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. <laughs> We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? No, seriously, I mean it! Check out his fangs! <laughs> well, you're right, Quash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. They are my friends. My house. And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why you wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No. I, I mean, yes. I, I can explain everything. You say you're sorry right now. Promise you'll never ever do that again, or else. <sighs> sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool. So we can all play together again. Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy. <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Oh, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Huh? Whoa! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it. Wash! Oh, 
You again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. You won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Huh? <laughs> and you're proud of that? You bad dog, you're punished. You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. And it's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah, but let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit. And you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I I'm a wild boar! A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! <laughs> Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! Uh-oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't, Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Listen up. That is so cool. Uh, you here? How dare you come back into my house? It's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. Yuck! If the Living Stone saw this wild-looking creature... They'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Give me back my bunny hat right now! <laughs> oh no! We're done for! Wait a minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. <laughs> Just... a little... You never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, 
We'll listen to your inner voice. <sighs> it's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Skim, there is no skim, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic. Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists. My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything. Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My grandpa had a pixie tambourine, and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. Say, he must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm going to conjure myself up some magic shut-eye. Abracadabra! Who are you going to try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens. We got Vic. Yeah, it's true that Vic sure does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm going to magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you going to use? It's a traditional fox flute. Foxes are protected from it. <laughs> what? Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? Sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your flute? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Aww. If that's the way it is, we're gonna make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure, with pleasure. <laughs> so, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. Mm -hmm. If we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stone so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. Perfect! We can make our flute from this! Hey, it's the sculpture I made in art class. I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing. You found it, honey. I should have dug deeper. You know what? 
one, honey. This has made me want to start sculpture again. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself a big block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living room, huh? Mush, <laughs> how are we gonna find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. Oh. If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course. Anything you want. We have a fox in the house. Amazing! Wow! A wild boar! I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? Life is gonna be good here! Yeah! This will be better than anything ever! This magic flute is awesome! Say, let's give it a go! <gasps> Whoa! What in the world is that? It's a magic flute, Play-Doh! Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe you didn't blow hard enough. Yeah! What on earth? <laughs> oh! no! A a boar! Boar! What happened, Wash? The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. Ah! <sighs> Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you, and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> That stuff sure smells weird. And what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. You, yeah, of course, anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that boy. Sure, it does the same thing when I why haven't they been magic like with Wash's flute? Maybe we're not playing the right note. <laughs> 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 uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the bigger and the fun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. Don't tell me the flute is magic to you, too! Huh? Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Weren't we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. In the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> it's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <laughs> he really doesn't work like Wash's flute. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? <gasps> Do you think this flute works on people on the TV, too? How are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? Hmm. It works even less than in the yard. They haven't even reacted. In my opinion, it's because the show is pre-recorded. 
You're right! I'll find another show. As this footage shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and sand? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works! Here! Our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Gee! Wait for me! Get your earmuffs on, Sam! Shh! You're gonna wake up the guard! Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down! I know! It's because he wants to play! Come on, boy! Punch! Here, that got him! So, but I think things are in order. Wild animals in my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here! Five, four, three... The costumes, Wash! After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. What on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam. Just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> huh? What do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we, uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket. Cause this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50-50? Nah, we never share with losers. <laughs> Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers, hmm, let's see, how should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes, well, you're losers, and they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! They're hipsters! The coolest guys in the world! Have you ever heard of zipsters? But they do weird things, no? And why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become Zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> and that's gonna change. Once we become Zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, Zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this Zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. 
Ooh. Yeah. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? Zipster, Sam. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should check the guide to being a perfect Zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that... We've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girls said, zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We gotta impose, Sam. Ah! Sorry, girls, but we wanna watch something else. <laughs> uh, hey, are you nuts or what? Who do you think you are, anyway? A zipster. <laughs> you mind, Vic? <laughs> Totally wacko! Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow! Oh, yeah. I don't get it! I thought they just loved zipsters! They think we're fake zipsters! No! Oh, it's because they know our beards are fake! If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food! Of course! Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards! And this time, we're gonna follow the guide to being a perfect zipster. You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Hmm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> Who are those two bozos? <laughs> You're the one who has to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> well, how do you stop this thing? You know those guys? Hmm. Wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! Washed out of beards. They stole, stole our place. Get us back our toys, you mean thieves! What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam. We're zipsters. We impose ourselves. Period. It's sure not easy being a zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. Stop! <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyway? It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? <laughs> there? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> and don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs! <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? Yeah, cool stuff. Way better, Sam. A future without our costumes. Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you believe this? 
We have reached a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. Mm -hmm. How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? Oh, <laughs> yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? Zipsters, dude. Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We are doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fang. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <laughs> Hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts. Ah! Let me alive! <laughs> and to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves. The wild ones! <laughs> <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? Ah! <laughs> That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My lettuce smoothie! Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea! <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster! Like that lettuce smoothie? Blah. What the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo from my Instagram account. Hmm? Oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. Hmm? Hmm? Ah. Phew, that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstery for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet, Everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? <laughs> 
Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch Kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibble Bake, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24-7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm gonna help you. We're gonna turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat. Okay? <sighs> what are you doing here? We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a phone. Kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Hello, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Joking, nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. Ah. Whoa, you see her? She's a knockout. No, 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 too wishy-washy. Next! Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. Wow, amazing. She stays for sure. Next. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible! Hilarious! We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way! <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it! I'll go take a look through there! But the window's open! Let me go! Wait, Susie, stop! Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble. <laughs> I love the fat funny cat. He's our guy. Take five, everybody. Then we roll. Who's the funny cat that won? Where is he? It's you, Sam. You won. Me? But I'm not fat. But I know I sure am funny. <laughs> This audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so, you've been acting for a while then. 
I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam. Quick! <laughs> Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security! We just lost our new kibble star! Can you do something? Okay! We'll, we'll take, take care of it! Well, I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade! Oh yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along! If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his! <laughs> ah, boy! I knew you were just a silly bumpkin! Your days in advertising are over, sunshine! What's <laughs> <laughs> no. going down? It's, it's coming from there! From there. <laughs> there! A boy with a doll! <laughs> Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me! Eh? Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans mean everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me, we'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mum's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Isn't that the fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, you're coming along with us. Wasn't that the dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you go, girls. Thank you, Oscar. And cut! That's our boy! Awesome! A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. I'll get you back for this! Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? <sighs> it's Oscar! We 
have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. <laughs> Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat.